Hi guys, welcome to the short video review about the very fit app. That's a smartwatch app. Works for example for this smartwatch. You can see definitely smartwatch here connects good to this app. The thing is it's not a proprietary app. It does not just work with this smartwatch. It works with literally dozens, maybe even hundreds or almost thousands of different smartwatches. So if you're looking for a smartwatch, you have found it, you think it's a great one and you see that it's working with the very fit then this could be the video for you because you cannot just switch to another app. If you buy such a watch, maybe for 30, 50, 100 dollars or so, there's no way you can use another app. You have to deal with the app which they are saying you have to use. In this case, it's the Verifit. So it's very important to know if the Verifit is good or not so good. I have seen a lot of discussions about such apps. People are asking questions and then people who are already using this app are saying yeah just download the app use it and you will see what it can do no it's actually not working like that you have to be connected to such a watch to see all the functions that's not only with this app but also with some other apps and so I wanted to show you a little bit around, of course not everything, so here we have the connection to the watch, we can see on the left side the health data, we can click on that, and with this very fit app we have really a lot of information. You can see we have so many information, so many charts, statistics, history data, we have the overview for the day, for the week, for the month, for the year, you have been wearing that for a longer time, the same thing also for the steps day, week, months, year. And you can see progress compared to average, for example. Detailed sleep analysis, heart rate, same thing, really a lot of information, calorie consumption, SpO2, stress, and so on and so on. Of course, depending on the watch, some data may be limited. There's even a view all data. And when you go down, there is even more analysis usually a two-week analysis about everything, trend, change. Yeah, it's absolutely impressive what we have here. So definitely no complaints about fitness, health tracking. Then we have the exercise. That's something which all the apps have. You can start tracking some activity directly from here. But that's only something which is related to the smartphone and not to the smartwatch. So I'm not talking about that. Then we have the device information. Also very good here is how the structure works. It's maybe not perfect, but I would say it has a really good structure. So this app is easier to use with some smartwatches than other apps. So you can see we have notification alarm clock, calls, health tracking and even more settings. It's really a lot here. Maybe interesting the tiles. These are the things which we have when we swipe left and right usually on such a smartwatch. So we can rearrange or even delete some, enable weather information. And we have also a watch face market. Here we can see all the watch faces or the ones free of charge, top ranking, photo. There's also possibility to upload a photo as a background for the watch face. And there's even a category for the paid watch faces, but there is nothing here at the moment. So everything what you see is free. And there are quite a lot in different categories. For example, new arrivals takes a while to load. But after that, you have really a wide uh, variety of free watch faces. We can also connect to Alexa. Of course, the watch which you're buying has to have a microphone. Then what's also good is that we can share data with some external apps. That's here, data sharing and authorization. So we can connect it to Strava and Google Fit upload everything. So definitely one of the better apps. The question is then, are there some limitations, some problems with it? Yeah, I would say the biggest problem, the biggest limitation which we have when we are using such a smartwatch with the very fit app, that's the notification. Notification, when we go here, we can see these are the only apps which we can activate for notifications from our smartphone. 
So if you're using some very specific apps, for example, for sports or specific weather apps or so, it's impossible to activate notification for these. You can see that's the choice which you have. Other than that, it's not possible to activate notification for other apps. That's for me the biggest drawback because notifications can be very, very important, at least for me. And this is also one of the big reasons for me to have such a smartwatch. So that's really important to know if you don't need that. Yeah, then you can go ahead by the smartwatch of your choice, even when it's using the very fit. I mean, we really have a lot good functions, easy to use. Just for me, the big limitation regarding notifications. If you want to buy a smartwatch, which can provide notifications from all the apps which you are having on your smartphone like 200 300 400 whatsoever then you have couple of choices of course you can always go and buy an expensive android wear watch or an apple watch but there are also apps for cheaper watches one of them is the h band this allows to activate notification for all the apps. So it's my choice at the moment. So whenever I buy a new smartwatch, I make sure that it's working with the H-Band. But of course, not everybody needs that. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.